More than a year into this pandemic, masks still a highly contested subject, believe it or not, even though the CDC, the WHO, the World Health Organization and local health officials say they're effective in stopping the spread of the coronavirus. But some good news today for those who have already been vaccinated. CDC now says you do not have to wear a mask outside or in small groups. Fully vaccinated people can also even unmask in small groups with others who are also vaccinated. These changes do not mean masks are gone for good. However, it just means that yes, we are moving one step closer to that new normal or reality. Some Idaho lawmakers wanted to do away with the possibility of mask mandates altogether. You might remember that coming through the state house this session over the past month. We told you about Representative Carrie Hanks of St. Anthony, her bill, the one that would ban any government official or entity from putting a mask mandate in place. And if someone did, well, emergency funds could be taken away from said entity or person during an emergency. Even courts would not be able to have people wear masks. Supporters of the bill said mask mandates took away people's rights and should be left up to individuals to decide. Opponents, though, argued to support the science and guidelines of the CDC and the World Health Organization, and a mandate should be left to local government. So just to reiterate, though, Idaho had never did have a statewide mask mandate in place, and only a few counties and cities ever did, with only one still pretty much in place, and some still do, like Boise and McCall. House Bill 339 passed a couple weeks ago in the Idaho House, but according to Senator Fred Martin, the chairman of the Health and Welfare Committee, it's not going to be getting a hearing in the Senate. The reason for that? Well, it's too late in the session. The committee has stopped meeting. He also says he doesn't feel the need to tell counties, cities, and school districts what to do. So the bill that would prevent bans, essentially banned from moving forward, the bill is now effectively dead. The law on mask mandates will remain unchanged.